to my channel. I know it's been a while since I have uploaded a video. I know it's been a couple of months, and I'm sorry about that. To all my faithful subscribers and those who faithfully watch my videos, um, sorry for not uploading. Um, it's been kind of hectic or whatever, but that's not on the video. But I am back. Welcome back to my channel. Um. I'm excited to get back in the swing of these, making my videos, so hopefully I'll be more consistent with them, and hopefully you guys continue to stay faithful in watching my videos. Uh, so in today's video, I'm just going to do an updated washroom routine um, for my last video that I uploaded. Um, I wasn't transitioning to natural, but now that I am, my, my wash day is kind of different. Uh, so I'm just going to show you guys how I deep condition my hair, trim my hair, blow dry it, and braid it down from when I wear my wigs. So let's get started. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell every time I upload a video. You will get notified. Don't forget this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and share this video. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I've been wearing my hair in a bun for, I don't know, a week, a week and a half. Um, I did go to, to the salon to get my hair washed and I had got a curling, a curl set. Um, it was cute, but it was too hard, it was too crunchy, and it wasn't, it wasn't really you know all of that so i'm just going to take my hair down and show you guys what it looks like after it's been taken out of the bun is it is my scalp is so dirty i have very very dry scalp and it's so itchy and it just feels so good right now okay so this is what this is what my hair looks like before i even wash it do anything to it this is what this is what it looks let me back up this is what it looks like like i said i'm sure this is natural so i'm dealing with two different kind of textures here and it is a lot of work it is too much but i just remind myself that it would all be worth it in the end because i refuse to go back to that creamy crack i refuse so I, I, I'm trying to be all natural here, boo. Okay. All right, this is, this is what my hair looks like. And the deep conditioner, the deep conditioner I am using today is the Cream of Nature. Let me let see it. It's the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Deep Conditioner Strengthening Milk Mask Curl Repairing Deep Treatment. This is what it is. Um, I got it from my, lo my local beauty supply store for about $7.99. It's very inexpensive. It leaves my hair so moisturized. Shampoo I use to shampoo my hair is the Apogee Serious Care and Protection Keratin and Green Tea Shampoo. This is what it looks like. This is the shampoo that I use. And I like the shampoo because it has green tea in it. And green tea has a lot, a lot of nutrients and antioxidants that needs your, your scalp. Feeling, feeling 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 really really clean and nice so yeah so i'm just going to go ahead and wash my hair it's nothing particular to how i wash my hair with the shampoo i just wash it shampoo my scalp and that's it so i will be back after i shampoo my hair okay guys so i am back from shampooing my hair um let's see if we get a texture shot I don't know if you guys can see really good, but this is what my hair looks like right now. I still have a lot of relaxed ends, but that's okay, girl. That's okay. Let me see if I can the shot. So, let's see. Right there. But right there is where I have relaxed hair but right there so your girl hoping she got that good that good girly texture okay so my hair is all shampooed so now what i'm going to do is detangle my hair
and normally I detangle in four sections, but I'm on a time limit. I got somewhere to be tonight, and the girl just don't have time. You know, just trying to get this deep conditioner in my hair, slap some braids in my head, and throw that wig on, okay? Because, baby, who will be doing it here for five hours? No. Not today, I'm not. Not today. So I'm just going to continue to detangle my hair. shedding I got from detangling my hair it's not a lot that normally comes out of my hair like I usually have more than this but this is a little to me like you guys can see but this is a little to me so I'm really happy about that okay so now I'm just going to apply my deep conditioner I'm just going to section off my hair in one section I'm just going to section off one section I'm going to put the rest back in the ponytail and y'all let me down below in the comments how my lighting is because I feel like my lighting is not right right now because I'm in my bathroom and I feel like it's not a lot of light in here but that's just me but comment below if y'all think my lighting is good okay so now that I have sectioned off my hair I'm going to go with my deep conditioner I want to take about that much take about that much and apply it to this section of hair focusing mainly on my new growth because that's the part of my hair that needs the most attention right now being that i'm dealing with two different textures so i'm just gonna focus on my new growth right now and these edges so ain't nobody try to have nappy edges when the rest of your hair is good so I'm just applying that over the section of hair and then I'm just going to go in and apply some to my ends as well, focusing on my scalp. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my Y2 comb and just comb through just to make sure everything is distributed evenly throw my whole head look at me using big words look at me okay so i'm just gonna comb it y'all look how easy this comb is slide through my hair with this deep conditioner like look at this boom 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 y'all go and invest in this deep conditioner right now because cream of nature whole line is just bomb like just bomb so now that i'm done with this section i am just going to twist it up get it out of my way i'm just going to twist this section get out of my way and i am going to do the rest of my hair
finish oh this one came out i just got finished putting the deep conditioner in all four sections of my hair and now what i'm going to do i'm just gonna oh these coming out i'm just going to um pin them up or well, not pin them up well tie them up with a scrunchie just take them and i'm going to take my scrunchie just tie it and then i'm going to put my shower cap on and i'm going to sit sit under my bonnet dryer Ooh, excuse me sit under my bonnet dryer for 15 minutes or maybe even 30 minutes and just let the heat get in my hair and i will see you guys after i'm done hey guys so i still need the dryer for about 15 minutes and i went ahead and rinsed the deep conditioner out of my hair so this is what my hair looks like it's super soft super manageable now than it was before super super soft i want to cut do the big chop but Mm, I don't know because if I do the big chop this is let me see this is from here my finger to my face is how my fro look if I was to do the big chop but I don't think your girl ready to let that go oh no no alright so now that I'm finished doing that I'm just gonna go in and blow dry my hair. When I blow dry my hair, I just part my hair into four sections and I go in with a rounded brush to um to brush it out as I'm blow drying because I find that when I use this, it leaves my hair in a lot of body and a lot of volume when I use a rounded brush as opposed to a regular padded brush. Alright, so now that I'm finished detangling my hair, um I'm gonna go in with a, with a leave-in conditioner. The leave-in conditioner I use is the Cancel Shape Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream, which looks like that. Nothing special, nothing particular. Um, so I'm just go ahead and take about, not a lot, cause it will wear your hair down, leave your hair hard. I don't know, I know that from experience. And I ain't going back. I let that hurt go, sis. I let that go. All right, so I'm taking about this much and rub it in and just put it throughout my hair focusing on my ends this new coat now that i got put the leave-in conditioner in i'm going to go with the trust me thermal creations heat tamer leave-in spray which looks like that yeah, I've been having this for a while. I've been having this for like a year because all you need is like one, two pumps of it. And that's it. Literally, last for a long time. So I'm just going to put this throughout my hair. Just put this throughout my hair. All right. So after I put that in, I'm just going to part my hair into four sections so that way, I don't know if you guys can see, me. so that way the um, blow drying process can be quick and easy. Like one thing I know, I've noticed about two, three years ago that blow drying my hair in four sections really take li takes me literally 10 minutes like and i have thick hair and it still takes me 10 minutes to blow dry my hair literally okay so i pin my hair into four sections oh a lot two sections my hands are so wet it's hard for me to climb but my hair is so wet Okay, now my hair is sectioned off into three. I didn't put pin this one up because what's the point? I'm about to blow dry anyway. So, this is what it looks like in the back. Just 
sectioned off right there. I'm gonna take my comb, just slide it through again. Just get the tangles out. And now I'm going to start blow drying. I'm just going to brush all my hair back, try to get it as straight as I possibly can. Just brushing it off the back. I am just going to put it in a very, very, don't mind my forehead, y'all. I know I got a big, long head, so don't come for me in the comments because I will get off on YouTube. <laughs> Alright. I'm just brushing it all back in the pony, trying to get it as straight as possible. Alright, so I got it in the ponytail. So you guys can see. But I got it in the ponytail, tried to get it as straight as I can. So it's all in the ponytail. I'm going to take another scrunchie and I'm going to put it here and try to put it as tight as I can. And then I'm just going to scoot it down like this so I can see this part right here, that little part right there. That's what I'm going to be trimming my ends from. So I'm just going to scoot it down some more just to see where my ends is at i'm going to take my scissors just bring it forward just straighten it out let me come closer just straighten it out and these ends right here i'm going to clip it so these little straggly ends right there i am going to Cut them off. So I'm just going to take my scissors. Bomb. Come on. This is what oh, I got focusing. Focus. This is what is left over. So that's all clipped off. Now I'm just going to take. Taking off the ponytail. And then split it down the middle. Like I'm putting my hair in two pigtails. Bring it all to the front. All to the front. Like this. And now I'm just going to these the thin ends, I'm going to cut them off. So, all my hair right here is to the front. I'm just going to take them and just cut it off. Going very slowly so my hair can be even. And there we go. That's how... That's how I trim my own ends. I don't pay nobody to trim my ends when I can do it myself. Okay, saving all 2019 says. So I can just go back any little thin end, just clip it away. That's it. We'll just hand it to this side. 
still making sure that my hair still is even on both sides. Okay, I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Just kind of clip away. And then like these little hairs right here, I just clip them off. It's hard to cut my hair on the right side than it is than the left side. Okay. Now, that's how I basically trim my ends. I go away and just cut away any um little loose hairs or whatever. But my hair is still even on both sides. As y'all can see, my hair is nice and trimmed and blow dry and everything. So, all right, y'all. So, that is basically my washroom wash, wash, but wash that routine. That's what I do every week on how I wash my hair, deep conditioning, shampoo it, blow dry, whatever I might do. Um, I know in my next video, I will be showing you guys how I make my rice water as a leave-in conditioner um, sometime this week. All right, guys, so thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a video. Don't, be, don't forget to leave a comment down below on what you would like to see in my future videos. And like and share this video and I will see you guys next time.